Hello everyone, welcome back to Rog Grotech. Uh, this is a branch off channel from my main channel called Rose of Green, uh, which is a grow channel. And over here on this channel is where I do all of my unboxings of uh, grow lights. And I will be moving on to other things as well, like uh, inline fans and stuff like that. So anyway, we're going to start off with this unboxing here. What we got here is a, a, a light off Amazon, or they actually have a website as well. Let's just see if I can get this pulled out. Uh, the packing so far looks all right. It looks like it's uh, packed fairly well. Just move that out of the way. Um, this is a Core LED light. Uh, it's a 200 watt. And it's called the Core G2000. And you can see it comes packed fairly well. I'll just go through what it comes with. So it comes with your hangers, your original hangers. Two rope ratchets, which is awesome. Uh, they look like the plastic rope ratchets. Uh, I don't mind the plastic ones. Uh, they say that the uh, metal gears are better, but uh, I haven't really had any issues with these. But Anyway, there are two of them for hanging, which is awesome. We need two, not one. And then we got more of the wire hangers. In here, we have uh, the pamphlet. Just tells you how everything works. Uh, they use a weird LED pattern. And it just tells you everything else. So, let's check this out here. Oh, here, also, we got the dimmer daisy daisy chain cord and uh, your warranty support card as well so you can check them out there but anyway it comes with a meanwhile driver uh, 240 so this is 240 watt I believe uh, and it comes with uh, 3000k and 5000k Samsung diodes uh, they don't say if they're uh, LM301 Bs, uh, so I'm not sure if they are or if they're their other Samsung diode, but uh, I know they have a few. So uh, Also, we got the Osram Reds, the Deep Reds, and then it also has some Far Reds in here as well, um, Infrared. So overall, it looks like a good quality build. Uh, it does have like a, a ceramic coating or whatever type of coating you call that over top of it to keep it uh, somewhat waterproof from humidity. It's good for IP uh, 50, uh, 65. And here we are. This is a XLG 240 driver. And it's got your dimmer, minimum the maximum your on off switch and then your daisy chain cord and then on the back you have your switch on and off uh, for your daisy chain so uh, actually you know what this on and off could either be to turn on the light or turn it off and then this one could be for your daisy chain uh, what we will do is we will figure that out once we plug it in and do some power testing which we are going to do right now all right, so I'm just going to show you guys what I have here for testing this. So I have my Apple G Power meter. It's uh, the EPAR 610. Uh, it's extended par, so it reads uh, 350 to like 800 nanometers. And then I have uh, this here. This is Upper Tech, and it is a PG200N, and it's a spectrometer. It reads your spectrum. Uh, I will show you that once I turn it on. Uh, I don't know where my meter went to check the heat, okay, but uh, I'll, I'll let it run for an hour and I'll tell you how it goes. It's actually been running for a while now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off at 18 inches, uh, as they recommend in the book. Uh, they say in flower you can go to 12 inches, but uh, I started at 18 inches because it's actually a perfect uh, perfect spot for flower. 
if you're not using uh, CO2. So I'm just going to come in here, I'm going to turn this on, and at 18 inches we are at about 800 ppfd. We'll give it 800. Uh, off to the side of the 2x4, we're reading 667, so that's all right. And then over here on this side, uh, 675. You need to remember that the door is open to this tent. So I'm just going to slide over here slowly off the side. You can see it starts to drop off fairly quick. That's where we are. It's at 571 and 440. What we'll do is we'll come over here to this side. Over here in that corner is around 418. This corner here, 420. Down the side in the front, 5650. And of course, once we get directly under the light, we're back up to around 750 and uh, 800. So uh, this is all right for a 2x4, I guess. Um, you would want to keep your plant centered. Uh, if you drop this down to 12 inches, you will uh, get a better reading of about 1,000 ppfd. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. So I want to give this thing a fair shot at 12 inches, as you can see there. And uh, 12 inches dead center, we're at almost 1,200 ppfd. Uh, that's, that's awesome for flowering. Uh, you would actually want to supplement a little bit of CO2. Uh, so it's actually a little bit too hot, so you could dim it if running it at 12 inches off to the side 900 this side Around the same 930 uh, Again, it's going to drop off as soon as we get off to the edge here We're still doing good right on the edge at 900 as we go off to the side. We're down around 450 that's off to the side of the tent Again, we'll bring it over and uh, to the center, 1200. And whoops. Okay, so, and off the side is around 500. So you could run this at uh, 12 inches above your canopy and just use the dimmer, I guess. But really and truly, I would probably go about uh, 15 inches. Uh, run it max on flower, 15 inches would probably be perfect. And then uh, all your side shoots and side buds would be getting good uh, PPFD as well. So anyway, uh, let me come back to this in uh, about uh, 20 minutes to give you my final thoughts for uh, the heat and stuff. So I actually almost forgot, so this is the PG200N. And it is a spectrometer that also reads your uh, correlated color temperature, the overall like temperature of the light, uh, your CRI, your coloring rendering index, and uh, whatnot. So uh, it also reads your PPFD and stuff, but I prefer to use my Apple G for that as it is quicker. But uh, this, I will say, has a grid that makes it a lot easier for averages. But uh, anyway, let's just go to spectrum here. And uh, this is supposed to be really heavy in the reds. Um, they actually, uh, it's one of their selling points. So what we'll do here is we will just take the reading now by pushing the button on the side. And there is our reading. We'll bring it out. And yes, they are correct. It's extremely heavy in the reds. Uh, it's almost identical to what their website shows. Again, so, uh, very good for flour if you're interested in something like that. Uh, let's see what the overall temperature of it is. So we will go to basic and our overall color temperature is high in the reds indeed. It's 3000 K. Our color uh, rendering index is 96 and our, uh, our reds is uh, 611 PPFD. And our, you can see the far red in there as well at 37.19. So they did an excellent job here keeping uh, the red spectrum in here. Awesome light for flower. Um, it would be all right for a 2x4 tent. I would prefer it to be a little bit longer to get off to the sides. But uh, in all reality, it will, it will be good once uh, 
once you have it set up and plants growing underneath it. So um, now we can do the heat test. Uh, it's not real, real hot. I can hold my hand over it. It's actually not bad at all. Uh, meanwhile, drivers run pretty cool. And then uh, the light itself, uh, it's a little spicy. She's a little hot, but um, what do you expect from a quantum board style light? It's thin like this on uh, aluminum. But anyway guys, you can find this light uh, down in the description. Uh, I'll have the links there for you guys. So uh, if you want to purchase it, go ahead. Uh, remember, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, join me here, hit the like button, comment down below what you thought of the light, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.